Minister Narendra Modi during his Independence Day address said the people of Balochistan, Gilgit and Pakistan occupied Kashmir have thanked him a lot in the past few days and he's grateful to them. Prime Minister Modi has mentioned Pakistan occupied Kashmir and Balochistan for a second time within a week. The Prime Minister not only declared Pakistan occupied Kashmir as a part of India during Friday's all-party meeting on Kashmir, but also mentioned Pakistan's ongoing repression in Balochistan. पिछले कुछ दिनों से बलूचिस्तान के लोगों ने गिलगिट के लोगों ने पाक ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर के लोगों ने वहां के नागरिकों ने जिस प्रकार से मुझे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दिया है जिस प्रकार से मेरा आभार व्यक्त किया है मेरे प्रति उन्होंने जो सद्भावना जताई है दूर दूर बैठे हुए लोग जिस धरती को मैंने देखा नहीं है जिन लोगों को विषय में मेरी कभी मुलाकात नहीं हुई है लेकिन ऐसे दूर सुदूर बैठे हुए लोग हिंदुस्तान के एक प्रधानमंत्री को अभिनंदन करते हैं उसका आदर करते हैं तो मेरे सवा सौ करोड़ देशवासियों का आनंद Prime Minister's Independence Day speech has come as a bomb for the repressed people of Balochistan, POK and Gilgit Baltistan and they have welcomed it wholeheartedly. Dua karte hain ke future le inshallah ke hum aur aap 15 August ya hamari jo 11 August jo hamari Balochistan ki azadi ka din hai hum usko ek sath banaye Facing oppression and torture by the Pakistani military for a long time, the Baloch people are demanding freedom. As the British partitioned India in 1947 and prepared to hand over power, Balochistan declared its own independence on 11th August, which it has since been celebrating as Independence Day. However, it was occupied by Pakistan since 1948. Since then, the people are forced to live under the Pak rule. In 2004 Pakistani forces brutally killed prominent Baloch leader Nawab Akbar Bukhti which triggered massive protests and another wave of brutal repression by Pakistani forces according to data collected by various agencies till the year 2000 around 20000 Baloch including 5000 children have been either kidnapped or murdered Pakistan Supreme Court have also over the violation of human rights in Balochistan between 2002 to 2005 Over 4000 people have been arrested out of which only 200 have been produced in court the whereabouts of the rest are still unknown taking cognizance into the missing cases the pak supreme court had issued a warrant against the then president general parvez musharraf according to reports pakistan's isi is continuously promoting human rights violations in balochistan the local people have been protesting for decades and their movement for liberation has grown stronger like balochistan In Pak occupied Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan too there has been strong resistance movement against Pakistan's occupation Pakistani army has been oppressing people's movement for decades here but the situation is fast getting out of control for Pakistan and recent massive protests in POK are a case in point time has now come to expose to the world Pakistan's blatant human rights violations Which bureau inputs Pankaj Tiwari's report DD News